Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. What might we see today, Stuart? Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, something that really needs to be tightened up for the hosts is the defensive situation. Look at the statistics. It's the worst defence in the league, Stuart. Well, defending has to start from the front. And this season, the forwards haven't put enough pressure on their opponents. That's why it's so difficult for the rest of the team to make good defensive decisions. It's been really poor from the front players. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, it's regarded as a negative shape. But if they control the middle of the park, play some expansive football, the wide players can then come in field to join the centre forward and the full-backs can push on. Let's hope they do that today. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Jordi Alba plays with Mattia De Cilio as full-backs and handed the role of lone striker is Danny Ings. And so the match is underway. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Well, a foul, but no yellow card at this early stage in the opinion of the referee. Well, he might just be lucky it's so early on. He'll have to be careful now. Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. The attack looks promising. A cross there that was decidedly ordinary. This looks threatening. Running with the ball confidently. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Jordi Alba. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Well, rather than stop play immediately, the referee waited and now decides on a yellow card. Ings. And he read it well defensively. They get the ball once more. Connor Hurahan. And it's with Brekalo here. Well, can they prize them open now? Ings. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Couldn't keep it. Oh, that's a really good run. Now, let's see what they can do here. Well, advantage with them. Referee says play on. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? So back underway. They've levelled it at 1-1 here.
This looks promising. Well, fantastic reflex action. Well, they won't get too many opportunities today, so they have to capitalise from set pieces like this. Well, they're not going to bamboozle the goalkeeper with a corner like that. And play halted, free kick given. Connor Hurahan. Stanchio. Oh, breezing past him. And delivered into the box. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. De Chilio. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. And a throw in it's going to be. Stanchio. Fruitful looking attack, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And the counter looks on here, options available. Moving forward effectively. And the cross is very much on. And a timely intervention. Sustained pressure and they have the ball now. Ings. The cut back. Bailey. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. So back underway at 2 1. Tight contest here. Not a good pass. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Ings. This looks more than decent. And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. Jordi Alba Will he play it in? How to play it goes Goal kick So nearly at half time And the home side trailing Albeit not by much Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well it's certainly been an open game With chances for both teams But they must start winning some of those individual battles Particularly in the wide areas If they're going to get anything out of this fans have had to be patient could this be the equalizer and he's fired over the corner blocking it now they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one and the referee takes exception to the challenge Free kick. And that's going to do it for the first half. Not going to plan.
The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Brecalo. It's with Nakamba. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Stanchio. And it might be. Danny Ings! It's still alive. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Not a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Well, if the newspaper reports are to be believed, Leicester City are about to get their man, Stuart. Well, if rumours are to be believed, the official bid is £90 million, which I would say is fairly close to the mark. It's now just a matter of whether they see this as an offer they can't refuse. We'll know pretty soon, I think. Big chance to get them on terms. A goal! Real excitement! A back-and-forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Split the four goals between them so far. Making progress. That is a wonderful challenge, and they've kept the ball to boot. More live football to come. A little note about a future game with us here on EA TV. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium, and two very good teams. Oh, sure, a chance! And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Short corner favoured. Bailey. Cutting the ball back. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Well, a chance here, perhaps, to invigorate their aerial targets. Ings, vital intervention. Thirty minutes left for play. A chance to do damage. Good use of advantage. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, but should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. Well, the game has been restarted. 3-2 here. friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up it's Aston Villa facing West Ham United showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up and clears the danger lovely ball over the top pivotal moment defensively danger here as he runs at them laid into the center it comes to nothing in the end committed challenge breaking at pace Bailey options in the middle Leon Bailey
Well, there it is. The hosts haven't had that much of the ball. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Simple save, really. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. But it is a yellow card for accumulation of offences. Well, it was only a matter of time. He's been on the edge for quite a while now. Just 15 minutes remaining. An unforced error, you've got to say. And a throw-in forthcoming. Not looking confident in possession. Nice and easy for the keeper. Bisuma. Torres on the ball. Jordi Alba. Recalo. So almost at full time, and the home side on course to eke out a narrow win. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, what a finale we have here. Both sides have looked good going forward, but poor defensively. But I do think they have been the better side for much of this game. They just need to defend their box with determination in these last few minutes. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. Substitution time it is. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. But from what I'm hearing, there's been a goal in the Leeds match. Over to Alex for the details. Yep, it's a goal for Everton. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 85 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. This could square the game with plenty of time and space. And not cleared away properly. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. These supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. A room to roam on the wing. Crossed accurately towards the far post. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Bisuma. Ings. Counter-attacking, very much an option. They might be able to get in now. It's still there for him. Body in the way. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, here it is again. And just look at the dip he gets on this strike. It's easy to get it over the wall, but much harder to get it back down in time. On this occasion, he made it look easy. And there goes the whistle for full time. Well, nothing to divide the two teams in the end and a share of the points. What did you make of Aston Villa? Yes, Derek. Obviously not the best result from their point of view because on paper, they were favourites for the three points today. But there's no easy game in this league and they just have to switch their focus to the next match now.